g'day, g'day. Hope you've had a good week. It's uh, Friday afternoon. I've knocked off work and I've punched out about an hour from Mackay uh, towards Yungla and we're pulling into a Mia Mia State Forest for the evening, for the next two evenings. I'm going to uh, meet up with a couple of the uh, local lads in at camp and uh, we're going to tackle the infamous Pine Loop track tomorrow. So, should be pretty good. So yeah, we've got a beautiful weekend for it. Uh, weather's supposed to be just clear skies as it is at the moment. It's absolutely perfect. Yeah, this track apparently, well, I don't really know too much about it. I've uh, seen where it starts and uh, that's about all I know. Uh, a couple of lads I've spoken to reckon it's pretty gnarly and you won't do it. So uh, I'm pretty keen to check it out and see if it uh, lives up to its name. Well, not that its name's got anything to do with how difficult it is, but apparently it's probably the most difficult track in the area. So it uh, should be an adventure, as I said, and just explore more of this forest. I'm starting to uh, starting to like really like uh, this Mia Mia and Credit and State Forest. It's just absolutely beautiful. And, Travelling through these ranges and over these hills is just perfect and it's not even too far from home and really not too many people get out here. It's about, oh it's nearly five o'clock I think, probably got about half an hour of sunlight left. A bit of change of tyre. Hopefully getting a camp and set up before it's, uh, before it's too dark anyway. But it should be right. So i uh, check back in later. Nothing. Nothing. I was jumping about in there last night. Should have gone last night. Might have been another one. Pot number two. Oh, yeah, some in there. There's a couple. Eight. Oh, you don't take one or two out of that, I think. What are they called? Cherubin. A little freshwater prawn, eh? Yeah, well, there's only one decent one there, eh? He's not even decent, baby. Oh, really? Yeah, right. Oh, well. There's another one over there. That's a bit deeper. How do you get over there? Yeah. Got a few in there? Yeah, there's a couple in there. They're not big, though? Yeah, there's a couple of big ones, but I don't know how big. A little bit bigger than the other ones. Really there you go. Shrunk a lot. Yeah. You gonna eat her? Or stare at her? Just look at it. Yeah, Tell us what you reckon, Luke. <laughs> there's a big pile there. I'll wait and see what Luke reckons. Nah, you gotta try one. You gotta try one. <laughs> I'll get into it. I'll leave it at this little fella here. Might need a bloody um, pair of tweezers, mate. Yeah. <laughs> no tweezers for It's a lot fine work. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. It's yeah? like a prawn, I reckon. Just... Same, same? Yeah. Alright. I'll have a crack. Right, eh? Just doing a bit of work, a bit of walking, a bit of recon. On the track. I don't know, Luke, what do you reckon, mate? Yeah, pretty gnarly. Pretty how you going, eh? Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting one to get up. This is the most interesting part. It's pretty steep, very rutted. Got boulders everywhere. Gonna have to do some track building. Get rid of little rocks like this, which are gonna smash your diff apart. I think if we get up this, we'll get up and down any of the hills. Well, lucky it's dry, but nonetheless, try not to go tits up walking down at the moment. And it's pretty much just these two points, eh? Oh, 
this bit here and that bit there. That might be all right. Too big. Yeah, this one's actually not as bad as that one. It's too big. Step ups. There. Oh, Jesus. Bongs. Yeah, that's the one there. So you could just get the axe out eh, and chop that root. Yeah. Level out some of that dirt. I reckon if we chop that root and push that dirt down. Yeah, fill it in a bit. Yep. See that, they're looking at that angle there. That's my front wheel way up in the air. Back, back left off the ground. That's definitely a winch right there. But yeah, if we can't level that out, it'd be a winch there too. It'd be like a two-stage winch. There's plenty of trees to pick, but... Looks pretty bad here, and it's even worse when you're behind the wheel. But yeah, someone's obviously driven up the side there. Or well, it might just be bike sailor the track there. In between that tree. Yeah. Anyway, could dog it and go up there, I guess. Right, so there's been deep discussions about whether to do this or not. We're pretty keen to have a crack. The only thing is we just don't know where it ends up or pulls us out. Some bloke told me he drove it a couple of years ago and it just puts you back on the main road coming in. We don't know that for sure. And it's pretty gnarly. So it just starts off even at this bit. So right from the get-go, you yeah, yeah, got to be on it. So we might discuss it anyway and see what we reckon. Luke's piece to bear up. <laughs> hey, young man. Oh, yeah, been better. <laughs> it's pretty gnarly, eh? Yeah, it'd be good if I had my GU here. Yeah, right. Show you how to do it. <laughs> All right, so our better judgments told us to leave that track alone for today. It's just, um, just a little bit too much riding on it like we're going away for a massive trip in a few weeks um, we both kind of think that we probably should have another car um, with us but um, yeah it's definitely very gnarly so we've just decided we're just going to come back here another time and um, tackle it then but uh, probably the smartest thing to do given the circumstances I mean if you break something out there or there's pretty high risk of panel damage in a couple of spots so yeah, we're just going to go, instead of doing that, we're going to tackle some of the other ones. And um, it's a bit disappointing, kind of really want to do it. But uh, yeah, just the smart, the smart devil on my shoulders telling me not to. So anyway, so we're just going to go up the um, go up the main road and um, explore a few spots, a couple of side tracks, and basically just see what we can find. So I haven't explored this area too much, but been more about the uh, top end up near Yungala. So um, yeah, we'll punch out here and have a look around and... Yeah, have some fun wheeling. Should be good anyway. Found an awesome camping spot just off the uh, main track. So uh, lock that, lock that in the memory banks. And um, next time we come here to conquer that track, we'll be camping there. Anyway, we'll reveal that later. I don't want to ruin it. There's no toilet paper anywhere either.
Right over, just found this hill climb off the side of the track. Leads up to like a nice little view. Not much else though. It should be pretty nice. Nice view up here. Patrol got up there, all right, mate? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Piss easy. Piss easy. I oh, don't know about that, but yeah. <laughs> Piss easy for patrol, maybe. That was a big fuck wheel lift, boys. <laughs> How's that wheel lift, mate? Mate, that was I don't think you saw that, but I probably wasn't standing in the right spot. Was How'd that feel? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, well, you're going to win. Oh, mate, I don't know, but I was standing there. I was like, oh, shit. Well, you found is the whole tray guy. Well, I might have yeah. just come back down and slap. Yeah. By the way. Right, I've come across another gnarly hill climb. Probably going to have a crack at this one. What do you reckon, mate? It's not bad, it's pretty, pretty easy. Pretty easy, eh? Yeah. A lot more gnarly than that. Well, that last one I think you did was more gnarly than that one. Yeah. Right, eh? So we're going to go up that. We've just come up with a little plan. This uh, this washed away bit of road, we're going to go up there. And we're going to do a little bit, of, uh, little bit of surveying and see if we can't... Uh, See if you can't come up with a plan to fix the road so we can go all the way through for a future trip. So uh, that's pretty good. And then this is actually testing out the new lockers pretty good. So I'll be able to give you as a bit of a bit of a rundown on what I reckon of them after this day. So anyway, down we go. And then up the hill. Such a capable rig, bloody G patrols. Really thinking about it. He's got some pretty gnarly superior stuff in there. We'll go over that in another video, but um, that noise you can hear is something to do with the front end. It's just drive shafts apparently spinning on something, so apparently it's not too dangerous or too gnarly. It's just making a little bit of a noise. What's that noise, man? Uh, it's the front tail shaft. Oh yeah, nothing to worry about though, really, eh? Rubbing on the um, cross member. Yeah, just rubbing. Oh. Just trekking our way through the forest now up to that washout and we'll suss it out and give it a good coat of looking at and see if we can't uh, repair the road so we can go all the way through on a future trip. We obviously won't repair the road today but uh, just give it a good suss out. It's not as green as last time we came through. It's still bloody beautiful though.
we're back at this spot. It's gotten a bit more gnarly just there, it's a bit more washed out. Here he comes, big GU. Tested him. It's great. Jesus Christ. Oh, don't get that too far. Right over, we're just heading back to camp. Been a pretty good day, really. Explored some tracks. Came up with a plan for next time. And uh, yeah, a bit unfortunate. I'm sort of like hurting a little bit inside that we didn't do the um, Pine Loop track. But um, we'll get back and do it again at a later date. So anyway, back through the water.
guys. Well, I'm going to cut the video there. Uh, I was supposed to go for longer. And I hate to be that guy who cuts the video just as it starts getting interesting. But there was just too much footage to comb through to have it ready and reasonable for viewing. So what happened was we were relaxing around the fire when police and rescue chopper came through. And there was reports of a broken vehicle up in the forest and that the search was underway. Luckily, they did locate them and they ended up recovering them the next day. But unrelated to that, we then had a couple walk into camp seeking help after their vehicle was stuck on the Pine Loop track, the same track that we set off to do this weekend. Uh, they were up there with a broken CV, a tie rod end and a damaged steering arm. And this recovery, well, recovery attempt, went into the wee hours of the next morning. Just about everyone camping at the crossing that night came and watched or helped out in some way. But yeah, as I said, I'll have to work on getting that ready for next week. So stay tuned and have an awesome weekend.